Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to problem solving session number 4. In this problem solving session we are going to solve problems on the squeeze states, coherent states and even quantization of electromagnetic fields. Uh, most of the problems I have pick, picked up from the classic book The Quantum Theory of Light by Rudley Loudon. So let us solve the first problem. A relation, a operator relation is given, uh, and this relation is valid provided the operator C and D satisfy uh, this commutation relations, and using it also with the vacuum state condition. That means when an annihilation operator operates on the vacuum, you know that you get zero then the, you have to cast this well-known equation for the coherent state uh, this relation is already all of us know this relation we have to put it in the form like this okay let us do it first of all let me uh, choose uh, operator c and d appropriately let me take c to be equal to say alpha a dagger and d to be minus alpha star a let us first check whether this choice is all right or not to do that we have to show that this relation c commute uh, c should commute with the commutator c d right and uh, so let us find it out first before i do this let me find out what is cd commutator commutation relation between c and d that would be alpha a dagger here d is equal to alpha star a and this i can write as minus mod alpha square then I have a dagger a and a dagger a is equal to minus 1 because a a dagger is equal to 1 so I will have simply mod alpha square okay so here therefore I have c is equal to alpha a dagger and commutator c d is equal to mod alpha square which is just a number so therefore it is equal to 0 so similarly we can actually proof uh, in the similar way that uh, d commutes with the commutator c d so therefore our choice is perfect uh, c and d is all right so therefore we can apply the formula so e to the power alpha a dagger e to the power minus alpha star a uh, this formula right we, now i'm going to apply this formula so therefore this would be equal to e to the power alpha a dagger minus alpha star a plus half of the commutator alpha a dagger minus alpha star a and this we can have already we have worked this part 
so therefore and that is equal to mod alpha square so therefore i can write it as e to the power alpha a dagger minus alpha star a plus half of mod alpha square and using this i can therefore write this part i can write it as e to the power alpha a dagger minus alpha star a is equal to e to the power alpha a dagger i am taking this part uh, to the left hand side then i will have e to the power alpha if i take it to this side then i have e to the power alpha a dagger minus minus half of mod alpha square and i have e to the power minus alpha star a okay now if i operate e to the power alpha star a i'm talking about this part if it operates on the vacuum state i can expand this into this series like this one minus alpha star a plus alpha star square by 2 factorial a square and so on it if it operates on zero vacuum state you know that when annihilation operator operates on the vacuum state we will get zero so all the other terms will be zero so we will be left out with only this so this would be equal to simply the vacuum state zero so uh, therefore so i can just write that very trivially i can write e to the power alpha a dagger minus alpha star a when it operates on the vacuum state so this is what i'm writing here if it operates on this then you will be left out with e to the power alpha a dagger minus half mod alpha square okay this operating on this gate zero and we know that this is nothing but your gate alpha as already we can you can see it from here okay so this is your gate alpha and therefore we have written it in the required form so it implies that i can we have now we have gate alpha is equal to exponential alpha a dagger minus alpha star a gate zero now let us work out this problem this is actually related to operator algebra so we have to prove this relation it's looking very complicated but let us see we know uh, that when the annihilation operator operates on the number state this relation is already you know that would be square root of n and n minus 1 kit and if the creation operator operates on the number state we'll get square root of n plus 1 and kit n plus 1 so we have to utilize this relation so let us look at this relation first if we now apply annihilation operator on a dagger n which should be a square root of n plus one n plus one kit and this would be we'll get it as n plus one kit n again if i apply it by a operator annihilation operator on the whole thing then i will get n plus one square root of n n minus one and so on actually we can now repeat this application of these rules for the sequence of these operators and i encourage you to do it you will get a dagger cube a to the power 4 a dagger n if you work it out you will get you should get n plus 1 n into n minus 1 
n minus 2 kth n so let me say this is my equation number one and from here uh, immediately okay let me say if i now uh, uh, multiply on the left hand side by bra n then i will get okay i will get uh, simply n plus one into n into n minus one n minus two okay so this is what i will get so we have basically worked out this part now what about this again let us work that out in the similar fashion we can actually work it out and if we work it out do the algebra it's straightforward algebra but little bit tedious a dagger 4 a and if you work it out let me see whether i'm writing yeah this is what i have here if you work it out you will get n plus 3 n plus 2 n plus 1 n n and from here if i multiply it by bra n then i will get a cube a to the power a dagger to the power 4 a n that would be equal to n plus 3 n plus 2 n plus 1 into n because we know that this is equal to 1 right okay let us say this is my equation number 2 now if i compare equation number 1 and 2 you will see that n plus 1 into n is common to both so if they have to be equal so i have to multiply equation one by this one and multiply equation two uh, with say this one okay if i do that you will see i will get n plus three into n plus two so bra n a dagger cube a to the power 4 a dagger n that is going to be equal to so on the other side here uh, uh, just this one that would be equal if i multiply this as n minus 1 into n minus 2 and i will have n a cube a dagger to the power 4 a n so I think this is what is asked in the question and we have proved it. Now let us work out this particular problem. Here you are asked to prove this commutation relation and then for the general case where n is an in positive integer this is what you have to prove and finally you are asked to uh, establish this commutation relation. So let us do that. It is related to operator algebra so first one uh, this is simple a a dagger square the commutation relation we have to work out so we can write it as a dagger a a dagger plus a a dagger a dagger now we know that a a dagger is equal to one so therefore we will have a dagger plus a dagger so therefore this has to be two a dagger okay so this one is proved similarly the second one also we can prove here we have a square a dagger that we can write as a a a dagger plus a a dagger a and again because a a dagger this commutation is equal to one this is equal to one so 
will have twelve two a two a not a digger two a so this is also proved now uh, we have to find out this general relation where a a dagger to the power n where n is a positive integer so what is this so let us proceed as follows first of all we notice that which already we have proved a a dagger square is equal to 2 a dagger now let us work out a a dagger cube this we can write it as a a cube there are three a daggers multiplication is there and these are operators so order matters this one i can write it as a dagger a a dagger square plus a a dagger a dagger a dagger and already we have worked it out and this guy is uh, 2a dagger right so therefore we will have here twice of a dagger square and here we have a a dagger is equal to 1 so therefore we will have a dagger square so this will give us 3a dagger square so we have a a dagger cube is equal to 3a dagger square let us do another one we have say a a dagger to the power 4 what about this again in the similar way we can write it as a you have 4a dagger that's are multiplied and this we can write as a dagger a a dagger to the power 3 and here i can write it as a a dagger and a dagger cube and a a dagger cube already we have worked out from here so we'll have 3 a dagger to the power 4 and a a dagger is equal to 1 so this would be uh, this would be 3 a dagger square so it is cube and here we have a dagger uh, cube so this will be 4 a dagger cube so as you can see uh, from here okay if you examine all these relations so this way you can go on and on and therefore i can conclude that a a dagger to the power n would be equal to n a dagger to the power n minus 1 okay similarly you can prove applying the same procedure a dagger to the power n a dagger this commutation relation you can prove it to be n a dagger a to the power n minus 1 okay finally we are asked to establish the relationship we know what is this commutation relation is given and we are asked to prove a com, uh, with e to the power beta a dagger so what is this we have to prove e to the power beta a dagger we can write it as 1 plus beta a dagger plus half beta a dagger whole square plus 1 by 3 factorial beta a dagger cube and so on therefore the commutation a e to the power beta a dagger this we can write as a i have here 1 plus beta a dagger plus a half 
beta square a dagger square plus 1 by 6 beta cube a dagger cube and so on so which i can write as a 1 plus a beta a dagger a half beta square a dagger square and so on so first of all this is a number so this commutation relation will give me zero plus this one will have beta into a a dagger so it would be simply beta the second uh, one okay and the third one i can have half beta square a a dagger square commutation between a a dagger square who is already we know that would be twice of a dagger and then i think we'll have again uh, 1 by 6 beta cube a a dagger cube so what we'll have here is beta plus beta square a dagger then we'll have a a dagger cube that would be 3 a dagger square so therefore i will have here a half beta cube a dagger square and this i can now write as beta 1 plus beta a dagger plus a half beta a dagger whole square okay and therefore this expression i can write as b e to the power beta a dagger so this is what was asked to prove let us see yes so therefore we have proved this relation okay now let us work out this particular problem where you are asked to prove the commutation relation between the hamiltonian of the electromagnetic field and its vector potential let us work it out before i do that let me remind you about the operator form of various quantities for example the electric field operator for a traveling electromagnetic wave which we have done in our class in our lecture as this so i h cross omega divided by twice epsilon 0 v square root it is propagating along say it's polar it is electric field direction is say eta and we have a e to the power i k dot r minus a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r so that is the electric field and the magnetic field we know the expression was i into h cross divided by twice epsilon 0 v omega square root k cross eta and we had a e to the power i k dot r minus a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r we have not worked out the expression for the vector potential uh, but vector potential can also be very easily worked out and in fact i urge you to verify it uh, you will find that the expression for the vector potential would be of this type it would be h cross divided by twice epsilon 0 v omega square root eta vector then a e to the power i k dot r plus a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r so these are our required expressions in fact you can verify that uh, the this expression is all right for the vector potential if you because you know that under coulomb gauge uh, we wrote our electric field operator as its time derivative of the vector potential and while verifying it you just always keep in mind that this annihilation operator 
varies in time as a e to the power minus i omega t if you keep these things in mind and if you uh, put it in this expression you will be able to get the expression for the electric field okay so please uh, try to verify it now let me proceed with the given problem so here we are asked to find out the commutation relation between the hamiltonian and the vector potential so we have the hamiltonian is h cross omega a dagger a i am doing it for single mode but this can easily be done for multi-mode case also so here this is the hamiltonian and the vector potential let me write down the full expression h cross divided by twice epsilon zero v omega eta vector and i have a e to the power i k dot r plus a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r okay actually if you see it essentially this problem is to just to find out the commutation relation between a dagger a and a and also this one with this and then this one with this one so therefore we have to just find out these two expression and then you'll be able to work it out very simply so this one a dagger a a so this would be equal to a dagger a a plus i can write it as a dagger a a which is obviously zero so let us not bother about it so this will simply give us minus a and similarly here i will get it as a dagger a a dagger and this will give me plus a dagger okay this is what i will have therefore i can have the commutation relation between the hamiltonian and the vector potential would be equal to i can just take these things out uh, h cross omega i can take out okay let us do it so h cross uh, we'll have h cross omega here h cross divided by twice epsilon zero v omega under root and this eta vector then i have here uh, i have already know this two relationship so i have to utilize it here then you will see that i will get here minus a e to the power i k dot r from the first term and the, from the second one i will get a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r okay so i have then i can write it as minus h cross h cross omega let me take inside h cross omega twice epsilon zero v under root eta vector this i can write as a e to the power i k dot r minus a dagger e to the power minus i k dot r so this is what i have now if you look at the expression for the electric field okay this one if you see then you will know that i have minus h cross and the whole this expression is electric field uh, i will get it i just have to multiply it by i and divide it by i right so okay so i hope you get the idea here so this one would be uh, minus h cross e electric field operator divided by i this whole thing is that therefore i have here i h cross the electric field operator so i think this is what was asked to prove yes indeed so therefore the commutation relation between the hamiltonian and the vector potential is this so what it means physically is that the energy operator for the electromagnetic field and the vector potential do not commute 
okay let us now work out this problem you are asked to derive this transformation property for the squeezing operator uh, in fact we have discussed it in the class but did not prove it so let us prove it here we know that we have taken our squeezing operator as xi as e to the power a half xi a dagger square minus a half xi star a square then s dagger xi would be equal to e to the power half xi star a square minus a half xi a dagger square now we have to simplify s dagger xi a s xi so going by this uh, formula given formula let us take the operator a to be the small a annihilation operator and b let me take it as a half j a dagger square minus a half j star a square then uh, we have this formula e to the power minus b a e to the power b that is equal to a plus a b plus 1 by 2 factorial a b commutator then b then we'll have term like 1 by 3 factorial uh, i'll have a b b b here okay like this let us evaluate term by term first of all if i evaluate a b this i will have capital a is equal to the small a and b is equal to half j a dagger square minus half xi star a square because a commutes with a square so we need not have to bother that part so you have to bother about this part so this i can write as half xi a a dagger square which we know that this would be half xi and this is 2a dagger so therefore this would be simply j a dagger now next term we have a b this commutator with b let us evaluate it and this would be j a dagger and b is a half j a dagger square minus half j star a square again we have to bother about a dagger and is a square this part only because a dagger and a square a dagger square will commute so this i can write as minus half let me take this side and j into j star so that would be mod j square and we'll have a dagger a square okay this you can work out this would be minus half z square so here i can write it as a dagger a a plus a a dagger a a dagger a is equal to minus one similarly here so therefore i will have it as simply 
a mod z square okay so let me work out another term that would be say a b commutator with b this already we know this commutator of this whole thing with the operator b let us work it out this would be a mod z square and then here i have b is half z a dagger square minus half z star a square okay so i will get here it is a half mod z square z a a dagger square and this will give me mod z square z a dagger okay so now let us uh, gather all the terms as dagger z a as z so if i gather the terms first term is a the second term is z a dagger third term is 1 by 2 factorial a mod z square fourth term would be 1 by 3 factorial mod z square z a dagger plus like this so we'll have various terms now if i take a common then i have 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial mod z square I will get an idea about the series basically here and I will have a dagger if I take common then I have z plus 1 by 3 factorial mod z square z in terms like this so I know that z is equal to it's a complex quantity that would be mod z which is actually r z is equal to r e to the power i theta so mod z is equal to r so therefore i can write a 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial r square and so on and here i'll have a dagger e to the power i theta r plus uh, 1 by 3 factorial r cube and so on so you can immediately recognize that here i have a cos hyperbolic r and here i have a dagger e to the power i theta sine hyperbolic r so hence we have proved the relation